Today's modern threats are smarter, more evasive, and more aggressive. Context and collaboration during an investigation can mean the difference between getting ahead of an attack or allowing that attack to have a significant impact on your organization. My name is Brian Robertson. I'm a senior product marketing manager at Securonix, and I'll be your host for this video. Securonix Investigate is a new solution that delivers on-demand context and analyst collaboration, and it's designed to expedite incident investigations and response. Securonix has long provided alert or incident context derived at the time of ingestion from things like IT, security, and business systems. But what do you do when you need more or updated details during the investigation? In the past, security analysts would have to manually search through multiple systems to piece the puzzle together or develop and run specific playbooks to find the data that they need. Both of these approaches are inefficient and require a lot of time. A more efficient approach is to leverage on-demand context to gain additional or updated insights about the issue under investigation. With Securonix Investigate, you can gain new or updated contextual data when and where you need it to bring threat details to light and speed incident mitigation. You no longer have to comb through data sources or run playbooks when additional or new context is needed. Securonix Investigate automatically extracts context from internal and external data sources for investigations in flight. Log data is enhanced with insights about user assets, identified suspicious domains, data from open source Intel reports, and even relevant dark web chatter and much more. This context from around the globe is translated and presented to you in your local language. When I think about context, I think of a person being stopped at a traffic stop. With simple identification, a police officer with the aid of a mobile data terminal can easily access information about the vehicle operator. They can see their criminal record, if they have warrants for their arrest, how often they have moving violations and other information to get an understanding of who the person is. This is the much needed context that the officer uses to take appropriate action. Securonix Investigate works very much the same way. We provide the context you need to determine the appropriate action to respond to a threat or alert. To take investigation efficiency one step further, you can also annotate findings and communicate insights across the team without pivoting to outside tools like ticketing systems, email, or instant messengers. This ability allows you to comment, document, and share observations made during the investigation to improve efficiency. You can define dedicated communication channels to convey information across teams or trusted groups. Examples of these trusted groups are red, blue, and purple teams who want to share information during testing exercises. These channels serve as mechanisms to provide relevant details about threat detection, investigation, and response activities. Now let's take a look at Securonix Investigate in action so we can understand how this works. Here we have the Securonix user interface that shows us things like our high-risk entities, our top threats, and our threat indicators. Now, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see the Securonix Investigate window that is an ever-present free-floating window that derives information from internal and external sources. Now, say I want to investigate a threat indicator particularly this robotic beaconing traffic detected from an IP address. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on the threat indicator, and I'm going to set my Securonix Investigate window to stream. What streaming does is it automatically abstracts data about the information being shown on the screen. Now, if I click one step deeper, I start to see pertinent information about that particular threat indicator, things like the source IP address, the destination IP address, and what URLs are involved. But what's interesting is if you look in the Securonix Investigate window, you start to see that it's pulling information about these particular elements within this threat indicator. Things like information around the destination IP address. So we see that some other security analysts have put in notes internally about this particular IP address. We can start to see things about the URL, right? So if we look into, this is an external source, look into that and we can see a description of what this URL is and things that have been discovered about it from the industry as a whole. Now, one thing that's really interesting about Securonix Investigate is if you wanna add notes or share information across your team, what you can do is you can actually either click on this plus mark within the Securonix Investigate window to bring up an annotation window, 
or even highlight an entity and use a hotkey of control CC and bring up an annotation window that retains the entity that you want to add a note about. So I can make a note here that says something along the lines of maybe possible DNS tunneling. And then what I can do is I can actually share this information across a dedicated channel. So for this, I want to share it across my threat intelligence hunting group. So I can make that annotation, save it. And that's now available to people within that uh, threat intelligence hunting group. And it's also going to be used in the future as this IP address is seen again. So next time this IP addr address is there and I begin an investigation, it's going to bring that note that I just made to the forefront so I can share that across the team and have that available for the future. Now, a quick easy way to understand channels, as you just saw, I put a note in for the channel, is to click into the channels. And you can see we've established a number of different channels within our, our environment that we can share information. So if you look here, we have that threat intelligence hunting uh, channel that I just shared information around this particular threat indicator. I can click on that and I can actually see all the notes or annotations that have been made around this or within this particular channel. So if I click on this particular IP address, actually this is the IP address that we made a note about. So we can actually see my note right here that says possible DNS tunneling. So as you can see, this has retained that information for future investigations. So that's a, just a very quick demo around how Secure Onyx Investigate works and how it allows you to bring in more context, annotate information around that context, and share it with other members of your team. To summarize, Secure Onyx Investigate delivers key capabilities, including on demand enrichment of data from information repositories, including identity, threat intelligence, geolocation, and historical analyst observations. It delivers the ability to have analysts annotate, document, and share observations made during investigations. It reduces the dependency on SIM and SOAR configurations for data and alert enrichment. And it delivers information sharing channels that can be established to share information across specific groups and teams or the organization at large. Thank you for viewing this video. Please stay tuned to the Secure Onyx social media channels or visit us at secureonyx.com to hear more about our latest innovations.